Yeah, two on the hill. Two on the hill. Yeah, got him with the pistol. They don't know we're out of fuel. Rallo's right here. I need someone right now with fuel. Our back is to the water. If they if they want to, they run us into the sea. We we'll, we're gonna hold this, all right? Outlaws, you need to take out that pillbox now. Take out the pillbox now. Watch your our our box. Come on, guys. Need to range. Start pushing up. Pushing up. Well, they're not friendly. Whoa! <laughs> Don't think that's friendly. The hell is this a giant ass wall? What is this? Before we jump into this episode of War 83, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is a free-to-play multiplayer game which lets you fly, tank, or sail your way into combat, available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation for cross-platform play. There are over 2,000 thousand models of vehicles spanning from World War II all the way to the modern era from 10 different countries. Soviet Union, USA, Germany, Great Britain, Japan, China, France, Italy, Sweden, and even Israel. Don't like the look of something? Who cares? Change it. With War Thunder, you can unlock, upgrade, and customize whatever you want and adjust it to your playstyle, including crew upgrades to improve the overall vehicle stats and a lot more. And in War Thunder, you're not just playing in some random empty desert, but you're playing in actual places like Vietnam or historical battles like Berlin and Stalingrad. You can have combined arms fighting with tanks, helicopters, and jets, or maybe if you just want some straight up dog fights, you can cancel all that stuff on the ground and play with only aviation battles as well. Oh, and did you know they have a nuke? Yeah, well, they have a nuke now, and it's awesome. If you like combat in Foxhole, you're going to absolutely love War Thunder. And by clicking the link in the description below, new players will get a special unique vehicle and three days of a premium account, while those who already have an account can click the link and receive a unique vehicle themselves. That's right, whether you've already played or you're brand new to play, click the link and you'll get some goodies. And a big thank you to War Thunder once again for sponsoring this video. But that's enough of that. Let's get on with the show. With three weeks having passed since the war started, and nearly 500 in-game days passing, War 83 was on pace to becoming one of the longest wars in Foxhole history. And the liberation of Isua was a monumental turning point for both the Royal Spuds and the Wardens, as it marked the end of the five-day-long Great Colonial Counterattack in which the Collies had regained footholds in the Orebreaker Isles, Baranac Coast, Deadlands, and of course, Godcrofts. As we sent the last of the Collies running back to Tempest Island, not only had all of those gains been erased, but Lockmore had completely collapsed. Umbral Wildwood was falling, Westgate had begun to crack, and the Siege of the Baths in the Drowned Vale was just starting. It was easy to get distracted with all the exciting movement out west, but we couldn't get sucked into other fronts just yet. To keep the lid on the goblins south of us, we worked tirelessly to rebuild Fort Spud. Although we had broken ground just minutes after the battle ended, to get in any fighting shape to actually defend Godcrofts against a proper invasion, we needed a lot of material and manpower. In Foxhole, bunker bases can be upgraded to have different defenses, like rifle garrisons, anti-tank garrisons, concrete, and of course storm cannons, but they all start off extremely weak and progress depending on the amount of activity around it. When you first build a bunker base, or BB, it has no active defenses, meaning that real players will have to be there in order to defend the bunkers themselves and shoot back at the enemy. Once the base has progressed to provisional garrison, AI will turn on and activate if you have at least 10 friendly players setting their spawn at the BB until you research small garrison, which could then take about 12 more hours. Once your base has reached small garrison, AI will always be activated, no matter if anyone is there at all, which means it's much harder to take down the base by just one or two determined enemies. You will also have to add garrison or command modifications in order to progress through specialty defenses like the rifles and anti-tank garrisons. And if we're being honest, at this point in the war, anything less than concrete was going to be really easily dealt with. Adding all of these modifications in order to get the fort up to a reasonable level was also going to be extremely tricky because we no longer had a flat area to work with. Hours were spent building and snaking around enormous shell craters and blown apart trees, all thanks to the endless storm cannon fire. 
no AI, no advanced defenses, and huge gaps all because of the terrain added up to an incredibly weak Fort Spud, but it was Fort Spud nonetheless. Just the fact that we were building on the same ground we started the war at was a testament to those who fought at Chris Ford and were determined to take the region back. As we built back up in one of the strongest blizzards to date, an odd calm had washed over the region. The chaos of the past few days had disappeared, and most, if not all, the regiments who came in to assist in taking back our home in the Battle of Isua had gone on to continue their crusade into the southern colonial lines. We were left to our own in South Godcross, and with intense combat experience and trial by fires that we had had in Chris Ford, we really felt that we had grown into a regiment that could finally hold our own. With all of us taking rotating shifts, patrolling the fort, and rebuilding defenses, we made it a point to encourage spudcations out to other fronts for a nice change of scenery, and I decided to take mine out at Westgate in the southwest. Wardens had managed to break through the town of Lordsmouth, and despite being heavily undersupplied, we were actually holding our own just outside the city. After some nice infantry fighting, it was here that I took a moment to just take in the scenery and go on an adventure, hearing that Westgate was home to the beginning of what is called the Bulwark, an enormous wall built between Westgate Keep, stretching through five regions and ending over at Alad's Bight. Historically, the bulwark was built by the Wardens as a way to keep the southern invaders at bay until it was eventually breached and war spilled out across the continent. As a huge lore nerd, and also having been shelled non-stop for five days straight at this point, wandering around the bulwark in relatively peace and quiet and seeing the sights was exactly the type of adventure I needed to reset and refresh. But unfortunately, that wouldn't last for long. Reports of colonial storm cannon fire raining down on Lost Arkle came in, and despite our best efforts to try and keep it in Warden hands, the no man's land that had been created made it nearly impossible to defend. We withdrew from the relic, situating ourselves on the border until another volley smashed right through Fleece Road, followed by a huge invasion force. Isua was fresh on our mind, and we mobilized to kick the colonials out of Godcrofts once again. Yeah, you push them back. Yeah, 3%, 4%. Nothing here. No! We're grabbing shells. If also, this one is only two of us. 33 shells. You want to use it? It has 33 shells. They are like on the southeast side of the rally. Moy. Back up. Hold on. Uh. Like back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Backing up, backing up. All the way? Yeah, hold I didn't even... Did you see that guy? No, I did not saw him. He just came out of nowhere. All right, jump out of repair real quick. I got Wait, nothing, no, back up, back up, back up. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. Okay, backing up. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, I hit the tank a lot, a lot uh, like four times. Oh, yeah. that tank right. Should be crazy. almost dead. The, I tried. All right, hold on. Let's keep going. We're good. We're good. Not, it's, it's not safe, Moy. It's not safe. All right? Let's keep How many guys left okay. already? No, this thing can't. Up. All right, hold here, hold here, hold here. I'm getting hold. the B mats. All right, get in the B mats. No, hold on. Can we get guys at Fort Blood? Guys with tanks. You, you didn't. B mats. I didn't have. How to did you not have B mats? I was too busy filling the tank. <laughs> Comrade, get your stuff in gear. <laughs> Fix yourself. We got this. Be brave. Oh shit, we're low on fuel, man. What the? You are killing me, comrade. It's all right. Just go. Just go. Hey. Bardish is here. Take a shot at him. Go. Back up. Back up now. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Dude, we got a long range, it's dude. Take a shot. We back up. Back up. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. I take a shot. You back up. Back it up. How low it's, is the fuel? Low. It's about low as... No, we no need we're, good. we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Keep that going. Yes, keep going. I mean, it's they don't know that we don't. Someone needs to check to see where these, these fucking artillery are at. They're going. They sound like they're at the BB. Yeah, hit yeah, the tank on the right side. I got us getting friendly fire, of course. You guys want more beam mats on the tanks? I got a load of truck. We need fuel. Yo, Bardish is side armor. Bardish is side armor. Go now, no. Push, push, push. East, 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 east. Front, front, front. Yes. Back, 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 back. Infantry all over us. Infantry all over us. We're low at fuel, man. Yeah, okay. We'll back up now. We'll keep backing up. 
right, we're, we're about to empty. We're going okay. to be empty, man. All right, we need. We are out of fuel. We need someone to push Go us now. Then. Hold, hold, come right, hold. They don't know we're out of fuel. Right, hold in. Hold in. right here. I need someone right now with fuel. If you're out of fuel, we gotta Logi go from BB heading out. Oh, I cannot go back. Just hold back, still. Hey, fuel, hey, we're, right. the engine's we're off, which means we don't need to move. They they okay. don't want to push now. Yeah. We, we, we we're know. the perfect they spot. Know we're out of fuel, man. Huh? They know we we got we got big we got big tank. That was, that exact, big exactly. Exactly. We got a big tank. Uh, we're not going to move up to you. Yeah, okay. Let's go, 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 go. Push, push now, push now, push now, push now. We got enough fuel. Go, go, go. Hold, 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 hold. Back up. Straight armor, face armor, face armor. Back up, back up, back up. You got infantry. Infantry. Kill that infantry. There we go. Good job, good job, good job. Yo, push forward now. This part is ours. One's dead, one's dead. Make way, make way. Sorry, man. Make way, make way. Good job, good job. Yo, go watch it, watch it, Asia C. Yo, we got one more here. Yo, side armor, Yo, easy. Side armor, easy. Wait for the thing to destroy. Show. Yo, hold. I'm not on the air there you go. Back up, comrade. Back up, comrade. If anybody All right, is push him now. Push him now. Push him now. Yo, we just killed him with his own freaking right. tank. Good job, comrade. Good job, infantry. Right, right. Left side, left side, left side. <laughs> good job, yeah, good yeah. job. Back it up. Let's go. All right, move, move, move. We're good. We're good on fuel. We're good on fuel. Make way, make way. Good up. job, guys. Good job. Keep it up. Yeah, both of them. They, they're just true. true. Okay. Okay. Behind us, behind us. RPG. All right, we're going to Fort Spud now, okay? Yo, outlaw, we're out of here. We're going to Fort Spud. It's nighttime. Uh, do we need any AC up there? Eagle front. Yeah, yeah. Jeep. Gonna yeah, just push. Keep driving. Keep driving. Keep driving. All right, keep driving. Keep driving. No stop. There you go. No stop. See? We're a big ass tank. He's a tiny little Jeep. Although it was my first time in a Bardiche, we learned pretty quickly that it was definitely a brawler tank and could hold its own against the enemy. I didn't expect I'd be fighting in a colonial tank when I started the day, but using their own equipment against them to route them from Godcrofts was a great feeling. With the threat at our border removed, we could focus back up on an operation we had been planning for the past day. Part of the reason we wanted to stay close to Fort Spud and build it up was because we wanted to make sure it would survive if we were to leave it for a couple of hours. And that was just about what was going to happen when we pushed out to a completely brand new target, the Drowned Vale. The Drowned Vale is unique in that its Victory Point City, the Baths, is in the middle of five bridges, making it a prime target for encirclement and siege. Friendly regiments had been able to secure the North and West, but the Royal Spuds were needed to help take the town of Iron Junction. The primary offensive was attempting to cross the bridge north, with CL leading the charge to take the bridge and try and build a new BB just south of it. We were tasked with flanking from the east with some armor and infantry the moment the bridgehead was secure, but our friendlies were running to a little bit of a problem, which unfortunately left us sitting out in the open. Realizing we were soon going to be over on ourselves, we built a quick base on some bunkers that had originally been built by the enemy and tried to see how we could salvage this situation. Can we, can we back up? Get behind the BB and tank line. We're going to focus west towards the bridge, okay? We get behind the BB. We're going to reset our tank line, okay? Are we good, Moy? Yeah. Infantry, you're going to hold. We, I need I need that uh, CV unfrozen and to push behind the whole line, okay? We're linking up with the uh, CL on the bridge, right? So we just All right, everybody hold. Hold. Infantry is pushing in. 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 Infantry Infantry to a foxhole. Hey, hey. Back up, back up, back up. Don't side, hit the, right? the pillboxes. Watch the pillboxes. Back up. Hey, be, hey, hey, we gotta be careful on our west side. West side, we gotta be careful. We gotta Yeah, we need to reset a there. bit. Reset a bit. We need to reset because we're hitting pillboxes. So back up the line right, I'm here. Getting, I'm coming up south. getting back in, alright? Back up towards the beach. Right. Let's not engage with the car. pillboxes. They have to push us. Our back is to the Turn water. Up, let's go. If they if they want to, they run us into the sea. We we'll, we're gonna hold this, alright? All right, where are we at, boys? All right, two, three are on the road. 
Yeah, they got they got two right in front of us. And one NPC on the road. All right, I keep an eye on those tanks. All right, I keep an eye. Uh, where did those tanks went? I only see one NPC. Not southwest. Hey, okay, we got tanks. Tanks southwest. Southwest tank, reset, southwest. Tank, southwest. southwest. Need to face southwest. armor southwest. Man, that way. Southwest, two times. Reset, Partitions. back up, back up. And we got one pushing us. Don't side armor that. Tank to the west, to the west. MPC to the south, two. Yeah, face armor, face armor, face armor. Yo, focus the one on the right side, far right. Focus the one push, push, on the push, right. push, push, push. Punish this, punish push, push, push. this. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up. Stay with our tanks. Stay with our tanks. All right. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, hold here, hold here, hold here. Line up, line up. Yo, oh, right, behind, behind us! Yo, infantry, you guys want to yell at us when a freaking tank flanks us? Alright. I check our rep. Did we lost anything, boys? Anything lost? Yeah, we lost the sword and silver head. Okay, mm, so we need to... I, I need you guys to tell me what is on the west side between our us and the friendlies. Alright, let me check, let me check, okay. alright? West side. For the west side looks a little bit secure. Next to One Bardish at the bridge. Enemy uh, Bardish at the bridge two base. times. Two enemy Bardishes on the western this side of the road towards the bridge. Is there, there any tank on our southwest? Boys? Enemy tanks on the southwest. I don't southwest, see any right now. Southwest. All right, we're pushing now to the bridge no. now. We're pushing they, now to the got... bridge now. Pushing now, hold, hug All the right. coastline. All right. Tank line, hold up. Hold strong. I see a Bardish. No infantry to next to the Direct west, direct west. Which Bardish? Yeah. They're uncrewed right now. All right, we pushed that now, right? Yeah, 100 meters? 100 meters? Yeah, let's go to the bridge. Let's go. Let's go. Let's kill them. Let's go. There's going to be walls around the encampment. Yeah, right. we're three people. We're three tanks. We're four tanks. This chieftain's badass. Let's go. We're heading by the way. You, you got to let us know. You got to let us know where the direction is. Don't worry about hey, that. Look, Don't I waste your 40 on that. We need it. Yo, right, right side, north side. Get on the, get on the Where's, the Where's the tank? Where's the tanks? Left side. They're on the road. They're on the road left. On the road you, left. East, west, north, south. Please. South. 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 Thank you. Okay. Yes, I see him right now. All right. Around the gate. Around the gate. All right. You see them? Yeah, yeah. Yo, headlights on. They're backing out. Do not die, Cajun. Do not die. We're straightened out here. Do we have infantry between us and the bridge? Come on, let's hit that. Shoot up. Yeah, push, push, push. We can't right. do the pump. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, formation, uh, formation, uh, formation, uh, formation, uh, formation, formation. Uh, tank uh, formation. Alright, Bardish bugged out. Yep, yeah, good, good, out. good. Fantastic, guys. We now have the bridge head. Perfect. Let's destroy, let's destroy the encampment. Let's destroy the encampment. But I'm decent. Right now. Hey. Infantry, we right. need yeah, some... Yeah, 40s. Can you destroy that encampment? Left side. Fantastic, guys. There you go. Don't right, push up with the outlaw. Push up with the outlaw. Help them out. That's a bane in there. That's a bane in there. Take a shot. Roll back. Then when you're back up, take another shot. Don't don't stay there so they can get a free shot at you guys, okay? Fantastic, guys. Way to go. Enemy artillery. Enemy artillery. Outlaws, you need to take out that pillbox now. Take out the pillbox now. Watch your... Come on, guys. Get ready. Dude, he's about to roll up. He's about to roll up. Enemy Bardichas are farming up. Yo, push, push him. Take a shot. Take a shot. We need to get on the left side. You head out friendly. Blow him up, yeah. What's over there? Oh, my Guys, we need to back up. We're not doing this in the fog. Everybody back up. We're not doing this in the fog. We're not doing this in the fog. Back up, back up, back up. It's nice. It's okay. It's okay. Be brave. Be brave. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check what, that's, what the. That storm what cannon is friendly. I heard it firing up here by Iron Junction. Okay, great. All right, and they Bar just need to range. Start pushing up. Pushing up slowly. Well, they're not friendly. Whoa! Right now. 
<laughs> don't think that's friendly. Yo, no, I, just, I just got a direct hit by Yeah, man. you got deleted Not by the storm cannon. Hold, hold here, Ludi. Not friendly, man. There's no way. It don't is. worry, Bardish is a beast. Only 8%. Although it was incredibly messy, we managed to link up with CL south of the bridge and were able to finally establish that bridgehead. Unfortunately for me, however, I never was able to set my spawn and got sent back to Godcrofts after all that. So I elected to bring up some artillery and help the push. By the time I got to the border, however, there was a 20 person queue just to get back into the region, meaning that I would have to wait this one out and watch it from the sidelines. Our tank might have been destroyed and I might have missed the final push, but our operation helped lead to the fall of Iron Junction, allowing for a nearly full encirclement of the baths later that night. The Wardens were back on the front foot, and it was good to finally be gaining ground outside of Godcrofts. Over the next few days, Warden offensives would continue pushing into colonial territory, and while we would be out in the front lines helping where we could, our Royal Engineers had been building a secret project of our own in case Isua was ever threatened again. I hope you guys liked this episode of War 83, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out the live streams at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. The live streams are a lot of fun, so I hope to see you there. Finally, if you are looking to get Foxhole or other games, do make sure to check out my official game store at moidog.gg, where your purchase supports me directly. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. Praise the flatbed of the lake. Her second coming was defended by the brave men and women. She's in great gratitude. Drive safe. All right. Oh, flatbed of the lake. <laughs>